Hello beautiful souls and welcome. Here begins your journey into the metaphor rich and mysterious realm of oracle cards. My name is Steph and I'm going to be your guide for the course. So where do we even begin when it comes to oracle cards? I think it's really important to note that in our current society, many people prefer clean reasoning over the symbolic nature of intuition. But being rational means that you are only tapping into one aspect of your potential as a human being. There is quite literally more to us than just this reasoning, logical nature, however important it actually is. When we learn to access and consult this different dimension of our being, we are tapping into a very layered and personal conversation that is full of both contrast and abstraction. And this is when that thinking aspect of ourselves comes in and begins questioning, am I making this up? If you've already dived into Oracle cards, you've probably already experienced it for yourself. So I want to give you tools, resources, information in this course that can help you enter the realm of your intuition with a solid foundation that is free of self-doubt and limiting conversations in your head. And when you allow yourself to enter this place, you are going to receive new possibilities, new frames of reference that can be applied to your life in order to see new outcomes. And I want you to know that the techniques, the strategies that I'm gonna offer in the course can feel mystical, but are actually a natural consequence of being a biological human being. And the strategies are full of wonder and awe as any conversation with your soul should be yet they don't actually require any psychic skills or understanding. What you will learn is practical, understandable, and achievable for anyone, no matter if you're a beginner or you've been delving into the cards for years. This is because I'm not teaching you how to be psychic or predict anything, but rather I'm sharing with you ways in which to use Oracle cards as a tool to bring forth your intuition into its proper place in your consciousness. This is by far the most important thing that we can develop in our lifetimes and Oracle cards are an amazing tool to help us do this. And you know, a warning or a preface before we begin, what you will be given in the course is information. It's your job to turn that information into understanding through experience and practice with the cards. You know, imagine if you've never eaten a mango. I can describe the taste and the texture and the pleasure of eating one, but until you actually bite into one for yourself, you will never truly understand. So like I'll say throughout the course, humble, repetitive practice of the techniques that I offer you are the key. Oracle cards will always be a tool. They will never be the power. You alone have the power to access the field of information around you and pull it into you and receive it in symbols or words or senses, whatever ways it comes to you. The cards then are a practical way to bring this insight into physicality in a very clear and very direct way. Now, what I can promise you is that each time you delve into a lesson, you are going to take something of real value. And then when you apply it, you will see exponential growth in your capability and skills to receive information and become a high quality card reader. So in saying all that, we are going to move now into the first lesson, which is all about getting into the basics behind the science behind the functioning of card readings and turn this mystical practice into a biological technology that's available to every single person. And this information is important because it will dramatically expand your own belief in your ability to draw information from the cards. And this belief is a foundation that is so necessary for a card reader who knows the shit. So, in saying all this, I'll see you in lesson one.